But first of all, I think that the, the thing that leaped out at me uh, as you were speaking was that, uh, was when you said that we have a partner who doesn't view the, same, the situation with the same sense of urgency uh, as we do. Why is that? Shouldn't our partner in Afghanistan view the situation with a greater sense of urgency? Why is it that Hamid Karzai doesn't see this as, as desperate a situation as, uh, as we do? Uh, the answer is a bit complex, but I can uh, tell you uh, uh, my sense about it. Uh, he thinks that uh, you're going to be there forever for uh, ulterior motives, uh, due strategic goals. And uh, uh, that's one, one uh, reason. And at the same time, it has happened that perhaps you also think that as long as you are there, he will be the president. And uh, that's one. Uh, and when I say these, these things, because I I'd had conversations at different times with him, uh, I used to support him and support him before him becoming the president. And I thought that uh, uh, he could emerge as a national leader and then take this country out of uh, the situation. And, and hopefully once uh, we have the chance, our people has the chance, one person, one vote, the rest of it will go and follow. Uh, in, in the course of time, I learned that uh, he didn't believe in democracy, in people's power. That's, that, that's my main disagreement with him. I learned it. And that was in the early phases and stages. But uh, from the other side, I, I could see, and I can see today as well, uh, that there isn't any other solution but to give the people their rights, the people of Afghanistan. Uh, one person, one vote, which they enjoy that right, but they don't have a say in the issues of governance. Uh, governors are being elected and se uh, selected for them. If they perform well, okay. If they don't, again, okay. They will be governors somewhere else, but the people don't have a say, and they are not participants in it. So it is a true way of looking at things. Um, his is the idea of controlling the country uh, through... Uh, friends through people which have personal loyalty. Uh, like the situation in Kandahar uh, is, is uh, the embodiment of most of the problems that we have uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, There's a tribal aspect to that as well, though. His tribe, the Papalzai, is one of the most powerful tribes in the South, right? They um, become, yeah. has become uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, powerful tribes there. And uh, so in Kandahar, you either go for a solution under a democratic uh, uh, princi principles and, and values and uh, 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 issues of good governance and rule of law, or you resort to a tribal uh, solution. I in both cases, if you were not able to maintain the sense of justice to the people and fairness to the people, you fail. So uh, the option in Kandahar has been a tribal one, uh, but uh, a tribal one at the peril of most of the other tribes being